What are we cooking? What are we cooking? Cabbage. Cabbage, cabbage, cabbage. I love cabbage. Those who know me know I love cabbage. And I love cabbage because it's very low in calories. It's full of vitamin C, vitamin A, K, and antioxidants. It has um, fiber in it. So yeah, it's yummy, yummy all the way. And very, very nutritious. What are we putting in it for our flavors? We're gonna use bell peppers. I'm big on uh, knowing what you're eating, you know. I hate empty calories, even though sometimes I pig out. It's okay to do that, but on a daily, I need to know what I'm eating and what it is giving me back. So uh, bell peppers are also good with vitamin D and C and calcium and magnesium and b6 and um onions same thing you know uh yeah they have zinc too and sel selenium i think that's how they say it and vitamin e and vitamin c in garlic as well and uh for uh can I have that <laughs> aroma? I love Jamaican curry. I start panicking when I'm running out. So Jamaican curry, I love Jamaican curry. It's good, it smells good. Um, it says dash. I love it in my vegetables. I do the salt free. When you have the salt, the one that has salt, and then you forget and then you add more salt. You know how that is. And then, salt of course and maggie my african friends you know this one maggie cube i put just a little bit of it because it has a little bit of salt and tomato sauce so you can use tomatoes i'm all about shortcuts same with my cabbage somebody cut it for me i don't have to spend another 10 minutes cutting cabbage it's cut and done ready to use tomato sauce same thing um and we will add peanut butter for a little more protein two two tablespoons have seven grams of protein even though cabbage has some protein by the way uh, something you might not know it has some protein but to make it a full um serving size uh since i'm vegetarian i need more protein so i add peanut butter you'll see me adding peanut butter a lot or beans <laughs> to most of my uh, meals all right come on up let's go you saute your onions and garlic and bell peppers on medium heat in the oil of your choosing just put a little bit because um, we're gonna put uh, peanut butter and peanut butter has fat in it so if you do a lot of oil, then yeah, your fat content will be a little bit higher. My onions are almost turning golden brown, but I'll put in the cabbage so it can cook together. I'm taking the aroma, the onion and garlic. My spoon fell in. Cabbage shrinks, so I do two bags. Two people, one bag is good for three days. I don't know, depending on how much you eat. <laughs> I'll increase my heat a little bit. I'll cover it a little bit and let it simmer, 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 simmer <laughs> for a few minutes. I cook cabbage for just a little bit. Some people like it very crunchy. Um, I don't like it very crunchy, but also I'm mindful not to overcook it. Um, and then when I look for color, really, if it starts changing color a little bit, then I start putting in my spices, put in my Maggie, 
I'll put in my Jamaican curry. Put in Mrs. Dash. Just a little bit. Don't want Mrs. Dash to overpower my curry. Put in my salt. Sprinkle some love. And if you are not using this as your sauce of protein, if it's just a side and you don't like tomatoes or tomato sauce, this could be the end of the journey for you. You can serve as, as soon as the, um, just a few minutes, your, um, your spices have uh, integrated with the cabbage and it doesn't smell so cabbagey. <laughs> then you can uh, put it on your plate and you're good to go. But I am eating, I'm planning to eat this with my rice. And so I want to have a little bit of sauce in it and I'm a little bit of, um, so I, I want to put tomato sauce in there and I'll add my, my peanut butter, which will be my biggest source of protein in here for my meal. So I'll keep going. I'll add two tablespoons of peanut butter and let it cook for a little bit more, about five minutes or less. And we're done. We'll be done. My husband likes this with fufu Kaunga ugali. He thinks it's the best. I like it with rice. Not a big fan of fufu. What do you think? Can you smell that? Can you smell that? It smells heavenly. Try it. Let me know. Let me know what you think. If you liked it and what you ate it with. What? What starch did you eat it with? Let me know. Thank you. And let me know what else you want me to try to cook for you all. Don't forget to sprinkle some love in it when you're serving it. Nothing tastes good without love sprinkled on top. Eat your colors and stay healthy. Stay grateful. Thank you for watching. I hope you make this. Let me know how it turns out. Let's dig in. Eat your colors. Bon appetit.